All right, so uh, well, I was gonna make a video, but I guess whatever. Uh, so I'm leaving Cedar City. It's a small town. I stop in the middle of nowhere, and there's this little like the size of a garage type tire place or something. And dude's like, your tire's flat. And so I I roll over, man. And I, I got my own thing. I put my own air in. I have my own pressure gauge. Everything's fine. Next thing I know, dude's got a soap bottle. My tire's fine. No problem. No leaks. He's like, back it up. And so this is the passenger side. I go around. I start the engine. I back it up. All of a sudden, he's like, oh, look. There's a leak. Yo, right there. Look, it's coming apart or whatever. Literally, I think my tire was stabbed. Like, shanked. And this is a... I need a load rating tire called extra load and so like all these people are trying to sell me like 16 plies and 10 plies and it's like $200 not counting mallard and balanced anything and right here extra load and so I went to every single tire place in town and, and big old tires was like dude there's no such thing there's no such thing as load the load rating number is the speed rating you don't know what you're talking about these tires are rated for under a thousand pounds. That's two and a half times less than my tire requires. Like these, originally these are 1,908 pound tires or whatever. And the extra load is like 23.95. Um, Cause this is per tire. And so that means like you could literally add 600 more pounds right here. Max pressure. Um, see, like it says, it's all this stuff on tires. Right here, twenty one eighty three, and it doesn't sound like a lot, like, but it is. It's a couple hundred pounds. The idea is that two hundred pounds more per tire is like. 800 pounds total that's like a, I mean that's just like a half ton and a one ton if all four tires were extra loaded you know anyway unfortunately the way the van is shaped and the nose is so far forward there's no room to put weight even not even the engine is forward of the tires or anything so it really crushes the back tire anyway I felt like my tires weren't, they weren't dead yet, and they weren't ready to be, you know, in the grave. I felt like it's one of those movies where you go to Mexico and you, you end up in prison for nothing, and then it's like, how much is Bell? How much you got? And yeah, they, I, and my phone was dead. I couldn't look up junkyards or tire stores or anything. And so yesterday I told him, nope, don't care, and I drove off. And I drove... 50 miles to St. George to sleep at the truck stop for the night because I was going to air up the tire in the morning. And yeah, my tire was, I mean, it was a little low, but it was like way more aired up than this. And I hadn't put air in my tire since the 15th of January because it, it was holding. The only reason it was low is because I went somewhere, it got cold in the night and hot anyone that drives bicycles realizes that hot cold hot cold hot cold somehow air just wiggles its way out of your tire no leaks no problems just just add some air no big deal anyway um these guys are awesome they went and got a tire from the warehouse it's after five o'clock at night and they're gonna hook me up and put my tire on today which is just amazing. BT Peterson's Tire and Service.